Ever wondered what it's like to dine 600 feet below the ocean surface? Well, today, we're about to dive into the depths of the unknown, inside the $3 billion kitchen of a nuclear submarine. But this isn't your ordinary culinary experience. It's a high-stakes mission where every meal matters. So buckle up as we unveil the secrets of submarine cuisine, the challenges faced by its chefs, and how these underwater war machines stay fueled and operational for months. Before we start exploring the culinary mysteries lurking beneath the waves, hit that subscribe button smash the like, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss this deep sea culinary adventure. Let's dive in together. As we step inside Nuclear Submarine, the first thing you'll notice is the compact high-tech galley, a marvel of engineering designed to function seamlessly within the confines of a submarine. This is no ordinary kitchen. It's a critical part of keeping the crew fueled and ready for whatever lies beneath the waves. The chefs on board face challenges unique to their underwater domain. Imagine cooking in a space where every inch matters and the menu must be adapted based on the submarine's location. These culinary experts are the unsung heroes, ensuring that submariners are not only well fed, but also satisfied. When the crew comes back and they come through the line, they get a hot, delicious meal, um, how they appreciate that. And that's what keeps, that's what keeps me and my crew uh, moving forward. And what about the freezer? In this freezing underwater world, storing food presents its own set of challenges. We're about to explore how they manage to keep provisions fresh and ready even in the depths where the cold is relentless. One might think creating a menu on land is challenging, but try doing it hundreds of feet below sea level. Submarine crews place meal orders based on their location, a task that requires meticulous planning. The chef's ability to modify menus on the fly is nothing short of impressive. We got greens, we got green beans. Speaking of chefs, imagine being the mastermind behind the meals on a submarine. These culinary maestros must not only contend with the limited space and resources, but also the constant pressure to provide delectable dishes that keep the crew energized and satisfied. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, culinary complaints. Yes, even in the world of submarines, the crew isn't shy about voicing their opinions on the cuisine. Do you have anything else? We'll explore how these chefs navigate the pressure to deliver tasty meals while underwater. Adapting to the crew's preferences is a constant challenge. Picture this. The chef must modify the menu based on the submarine's location and the preferences of the sailors on board. It's a delicate balance of taste and practicality, requiring quick thinking and culinary creativity. You want the rice? No, green beans. Green beans, all right? As we go deeper into the galley, we witness the pressure these chefs endure. With the constant need to prepare meals, clean up, adhere to a tight schedule, and stay under a monthly food budget, the life of a submarine cook is anything but ordinary. Maintaining a clean dining space is crucial, considering submarines are designed to operate silently. We'll take a peek into the training sessions that happen while meals are not being served, giving you a glimpse into the meticulous world of submarine cuisine. In the depths of the U.S. Naval submarine base Bangor, Washington, lies a treasure trove, a 2000 book collection on submarine cuisine. One particular book takes us back to an era when submarines bore fish-related names like USS Hardhead and USS Blenny. This out-of-print gem not only narrates tales of submariners during World War II, but also reveals the culinary delights they enjoyed. In that way, the guy can look forward to uh, a good meal and a good time sitting down here talking to his friends. Imagine submarines named after fish cruising through the vast ocean, carrying sailors fed on hearty meals to sustain them through their missions. According to reports from the Submarine Research Center, submariners were fed three meals a day during missions that could last for weeks or even months without replenishment. 
The book offers a window into the past, describing the types of meals that fueled these submariners through historical missions. And what were they eating back then? The book provides recipes for popular breakfast dishes like creamed eggs, hearty main courses such as corned beef and cabbage, ginger pot roast, and even Maryland-style fried chicken. The collection of recipes also includes navy bean soup and delightful desserts like cherry pie, rice pudding, and baked apples. It's not just about the food, it's about the camaraderie built around shared meals on these underwater vessels. The book paints a vivid picture of submariners bonding over hearty meals, creating a sense of home in the midst of the vast and unpredictable ocean. Hi, coming up on Friday night, or you've got pizza night on Thursday night. These covert war machines may stay submerged for months, but when it's time to refuel and restock, the US Navy has some ingenious methods up its sleeve. Picture this, a ballistic missile submarine cruising silently beneath the waves, its mission extending for months on end. But what happens when one of these boats needs more than just silence? When it's time for resupply, the process becomes a carefully orchestrated ballet of precision and efficiency. Rear Admiral Blake Converse, commander of Submarine Force Pacific, sheds light on the challenges and solutions. We don't need to send them fuel, but sometimes we do need to send them food and parts to keep them at sea, says Converse. Ah. The dependability of these submarines relies not only on their nuclear reactors, but also on timely resupply. The US Navy conducts rigorous tests to determine the most effective resupply methods. From tiny drones to enormous cargo planes, every option is explored. But what sets one method apart? Which one just got declassified by the United States Navy? Our submariners are no strangers to innovation. Tests include a member of the Navy piloting a quadrotor drone capable of delivering small objects to a surfaced submarine. Following that, a United States Navy NH-60 Seahawk helicopter swoops in with a bigger payload, followed by a United States Marine Corps MV 22B Osprey, bringing yet another cargo load. And if that's not enough, a United States Air Force C-17 Globemaster, soaring above, drops another package from the sky. Each method serves a crucial purpose. Whether it's fixing atmospheric control systems, weapon systems, or delivering much-needed supplies to keep the submarine fully operational. Whether it be a small part delivered by a UAV, or a resupply of food, logistics, or medical capabilities, we exercise those things to demonstrate the ability to keep our submarines at sea, emphasizes one official. It's a testament to the Navy's commitment to maintaining a constant and effective sea-based nuclear deterrent. Imagine the strategic importance of these submarines, especially in times of conflict. If a large-scale conflict were to break out, these submarines, often referred to as boomers, play a crucial role in posturing and ensuring a nuclear strike would come at a great cost. As we wrap up this segment, ponder the significance of the United States nuclear triad and the role these submarines play in maintaining peace through mutually assured destruction. Our underwater giants, lurking beneath the surface, carry the weight of global security on their silent shoulders. And there you have it, fellow explorers. A deep sea journey into the heart of a $3 billion nuclear submarine's kitchen. Unraveling the secrets of submarine cuisine, resupplying at sea, and the historical tapestry of Submariner's meals. We've uncovered the challenges, triumphs, and the crucial role these underwater giants play in global security. So what did you think of our deep sea adventure? If you're as captivated as we are by the mysteries beneath the waves, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join us on more thrilling explorations into the unknown. Your support keeps us afloat.